today we we're talking about something very exciting and that is my new paper shoot camera <laughs> so i got this for christmas this year and i'm going to talk about it because i love it so much and there's a lot of stuff that i didn't know about it that if you wanted to learn about it and if you wanted to check it out yeah i just wanted to kind of consolidate all my thoughts into one little video so i actually ordered the like cross vintage set it's called on their website and with that model the camera comes assembled or not assembled the camera comes disassembled but you can assemble it with like this case which is a super cool like brass um rim and a wooden design this is where you like click the button this little set also comes with like a clear case for the camera and this is what it looks like i really liked this one this is the first one that i put on my camera when i got it I really liked the thought of just like the getting the set as a whole because it gives you case options and it also is more like sturdy and durable because I had seen these paper cases like all over the internet basically. I liked them but I wanted to start it with something that looked really nice and cool like this. And also I didn't explain it but the way this works is you like put in these little, it's really easy to assemble. You put in like pins and then you screw it in with the back one. But yeah, I definitely liked this choice but what ended up happening was we got an email saying, hey, there's going to be like a little bit of a shipping delay so we're gonna give you a complimentary free paper case and I was like okay <laughs> so I picked like this flower one and I'm like actually I so I wasn't even expecting to get this but I actually really like how it feels with it there's also little filters on this camera which is super cool okay I guess I need to get smart back on <laughs> it is the super thin this part is the camera this is just a paper case and it is kind of known or it's advertised as an eco-friendly alternative to film cameras because I really like the look of all that stuff, but I've never had a film camera myself. And I didn't like the thought of, first of all, how much like waste it makes, like disposables, and also how expensive it gets reordering things every single time. This though, goes all into an SD card and uses rechargeable batteries. So you can, it's like infinite amount of uses basically, and a lot more affordable in the long run. It's a, it's a higher upfront cost, but I think it's worth it. Now, what was I saying? I was talking about oh the filters and so you can do normal filter black and white green which is called like sepia or something and then blue and what ha, what kind of shocked people in my family when i was using this over christmas break was that there's no like <laughs> there's no viewfinder or anything it's just your eyeball so it looks kind of funny if i'm taking a picture of you but i remember so i got it on christmas and i didn't have access to my computer until the day after boxing day so I was taking so many pictures on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, having no idea how they're turning out. So it was kind of fun because it made it feel like an actual disposable camera or like film camera or something like that. So turns out from my learnings, <laughs> one is that you can't point it somewhere with a bright window behind someone because there's no way of automatically, there's no way of manually adjusting the lighting filters. It does all that for, for itself. It's really smart, like it actually does really good stuff. All you have to do is just press this button, this is what it sounds like. And then it just goes click, and then this, these little lights go off here, wait. Do you see? So I was like, oh, I click, move on, but sometimes that made them really blurry. So I realized you had to hold it until the sound is done, and I don't know yet until if it's like when the blue lights are gone as well, but I'm still learning as well. <laughs> I also realized that the lens is a lot wider than I had assumed. I thought that it'd be, I was like trying to back up a lot to, so I can get everyone I wanted to in the frame, but it actually is much more wide angle than I thought. And I'm gonna show you some pictures <laughs> at the end. But it's like super durable. Like there's, if you go to like their Instagram or whatever, they have so much information on there, just paper shoot camera. And it's like made with stone paper, which is like more environmentally friendly. And it is, um, water resistant i think or something but yeah oh okay it also doesn't work very well in super low light but i mean it's fine i went i went to this uh, light show with my friends and i was trying to take pictures of us in front of the lights and it was just like black and some christmas lights in the background <laughs> um but it's still funny because i can look at those and remember my memories you know i'm just obsessed with how many I'm just taking pictures all the time. My family was making fun of me because I was just like always like, ha ha ha, click, 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 we're at Christmas. But 
it turned out amazing. So the joke's on them because now I've given them amazing pictures <laughs> filled with memories. Um, <laughs> there is one feature on these that I have not explored yet, which is the video slash time lapse. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Option? That's not the word I'm looking for, but I don't really know what else it could be. Yeah, I guess like this video or time lapse option where if you have it plugged into a battery pack, you can use these little filter things to control, okay, video, something, something, something. And it takes like a 10 second video. And I haven't tried it yet, just because I forgot. But apparently people are complaining about how it's annoying you have to carry around like a battery pack to have it plugged in to take the videos. So the brand just came out with this little chip that you can insert so you can take them whenever you want without being attached to like a power source. So that's cool. It came out like a couple weeks after I ordered it for Christmas. So I didn't get to snag that, but maybe I will at some point. Um, but yeah, it's like super light, it's super thin and it's super cute. Like everyone that I've shown so far is just like shocked at how cute and compact and easy it is. Like it's smaller than my phone. So I've, I took like no pictures of my phone over, over the Christmas break because I was using this the whole time. And I really like how the pictures turned out. It's so fun. <laughs> and also I am no tech guru and I was able to figure it out. Like you just, it, it, you literally just plug it into your computer. I got an SD card. I've ordered some rechargeable batteries and you're good. You can use non-rechargeable batteries, but um, it's like better for the environment. They recommend using rechargeable ones. And also with rechargeable ones, whenever it's plugged into your computer while you're exporting, also it doesn't take that long. They're already there. But I mean, like when you're looking at them on your computer, it charges the batteries at the same time. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna show some pictures now from my experience with my paper shoe camera. And I'll have a couple extra comments at the end, so enjoy. Okay, I am in a different outfit, but I'm here to talk about the pictures that I can show you from my paper shoot so far. Basically like 90% of the pictures I took over the Christmas break were um, of my family. So I can't show you those, but I collected ones that I can show you just to give you a look of like how the pictures end up turning out in case you're interested. Also really quick, I forgot to mention something that I also haven't tried out on this camera yet, which is that they come with different lenses. So there's like a zoom lens and a, like a macro lens and like a zoom lens as well, which I have yet to try out, but I'll let you know if I do. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the side. The first picture, this is my dog. We're gonna go pretty quick because I don't mean to talk very much about them. This is like the first picture I ever took, I think, or one of them. And so for none of these pictures that you'll see at the beginning, I knew how the camera worked. I was literally just messing around, so I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. This one's my grandma's dog, really cute. A bunch of dogs, all together. Me, during presents opening time, I loved letting my sisters use my camera because I was just like, guys, anytime I'm not holding it, take it, use it, take pictures. And it's been so much fun to look through like their perspective, everything, I love it. Um, this is me with my Stella. I did not think my face was gonna be in this picture here, but it's fine. <laughs> um, another one. This is more doggies. Most of these pictures will be just dogs because that's <laughs> non-family members. Or they are family members, but not family members, human faces. This is a snapshot from the Schitt's Creek book that I got that I love so much <laughs> and that these quotes are super iconic. So I wanted to take a picture and try out the black and white filter. This is when I was out with my friends in the dark that I was mentioning. I was kind of disappointed with how the picture turned out. But then I looked at it again later with my friends and they were like, hey, that's actually pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, this is one, now this right here, like if you see in the middle there, that's two humans. I don't know which of us that is because there were three of us there. I don't know which two of us it was. I literally can't remember. But yeah, this is kind of how it looks in low light or completely darkness, if you're wondering. Um, this was kind of a cool picture. <laughs> this was at our dinner table. Me showing my new camera. <laughs> More doggy. This is me hugging my sister. I love that picture. More dog. Stella with my best wishes, warmest regards book. Me with another sister hugging me. I, I, I kind of was getting the hang of also just like flipping the thing around and just hoping that it was in my, you know, that I was in the frame and thought it worked out pretty well. Me with a dog. <laughs> me, another me with a dog. This was like, I really like was impressed with how it takes pictures outdoors 
in like normal light. I really like the effect that it put on this picture. Um, me just being me. <laughs> me again. My sisters were learning when their fingers cover the lens or not, so we're working on that. Um, this is with my cat, and again, that book is there somehow. Well, I finished the book in like two days, so I guess I was reading it all the time. <laughs> I don't know why it's in all these pictures though. More animals. This was down by the lake, and this was beautiful, I thought, this picture. I was very impressed. At New Year's, we were um, painting, and we were having a Taylor Swift party, and my mom grabbed the camera for a bit and was taking pictures of me <laughs> dancing to Taylor Swift. This is our little New Year's setup. Cheers. This is on the way to the airport. I was trying to see what it would look like if it was in a moving vehicle. It doesn't look that bad. It looks kind of cool. This is me <laughs> at the airport, kind of a time capsule moment maybe. And this was more outdoors pictures that I was impressed with. So yeah, those are a collection of photos that I can show you. I really like the ones of my family members too, but I just don't want to show them for privacy reasons. But yeah, I hope that helps you get a better gauge at like what the pictures look like. And I'm obviously like still learning how to use it. But, like I had no knowledge of how to use it before taking any of these. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. So there you go. Yay! Thank you for watching! And if you have any questions about Paper Shoot Camera, let me know. But yeah, I really recommend it. It's so fun and I'm so happy that I have it because I'm going to be using this for a very long time and making a lot of fun memories with it. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for being here and bye! <laughs>